Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Swifty Combine, the global frontrunner in alcohol-infused sports. It was a riveting day one as Swan took the early lead out of the gates. Let's check in with some day two action and interviews. Johnny D, come here, JD. What's up, baby? How uh, you doing? Oh, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stick shift. That's what we call a How turkey in uh, New England. How are you? How are good, you? How good, are you good. Today? I'm, I, I, oh, I'm ready to go, man. I'm ready to go. I, I got to say, you're looking very patriotic. Is that Donald? Is that the Donald? Uh, yes, this is uh, Mr. Uh, Donald H. Pump. Tay Tay, glad to see you could make it out here today. I'm pretty good. I was going to shake the, oh, your yeah, hand, okay. but um, I went sure. for the microphone sure. instead. On a scale anyway. of one to lit, one being not lit and lit being lit, how lit are you right now on the day of being lit? Like. What do you expect here today? I expect to not wake up in the morning. Awesome. That's a great expectation. Can we guarantee a top three for the fans in Dubai? It fucking better be, boy. Let's take a look at the first event on day two. Quick hands. The event starts on the whistle and features a running clock. Referee Joey Devious will throw different sized balls at the competitors and a final drink that the competitors must down. First up is going to be JD. Let's see how he fares. Wait a second. That's not JD. What's going on here? We're getting word from the sidelines that is JD, but he's suffering from a rare infection called Asian Invasion? Apparently, he's going to come and go as an Asian. Solid time. Coolio's up next. He's got good mitts. Boom! Explosion right to the jugular. Recovers well. You had a very solid day one, Tom. Ooh, has trouble with the stomp. Don't know why he hit it twice. Next up's gonna be Gerg. Let's see what he has here on day two. Catches the Stanley Steamer. Boom, he's mean mugging right to the grill. Unfazed. Greg's looking solid at 991. Let's see how some of the other participants fared. Let's see if that stretch helped Big Scoot out. Flymaster. 949, solid time for Scoot. After a solid day one, Swan struggled on day two with a 1350. Coolio, Coolio, can I get a couple words? Yeah, 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 of course. How did that last rundown go for you? You know, I didn't finish in the top place, but I think I'm still good in the standings here. I think yeah? I did a decent amount Well, the math hasn't been done yet, but the rumors around the combine are that you're absolutely killing it today, and I gotta say, the beard is looking fantastic. It's a bad day to be Caucasian, Tom, as it's time for the long jump event. Event number three at the combine is the long jump. Each contestant will jump with an open mug filled with brew, and contestant scores will be recorded one through seven. Spillage will result in a time map. First on the day for the event and first on the leaderboards was Marquis Salabone with 6-4. Julio followed up with a 5-8, followed by Gerg with 5-7 middle of the pack stats. Abby Tate followed Gerg up with a performance only a mother could love at 3-9. Swan came in with an ew-wee performance, 4-1. Big Scoop, not known for his vertical prowess, followed up Swan with a decent 5-6. And last on the day, but certainly not least in our hearts, was JD as he was able to fight off his Asian infection for one long jump. We caught up with JD earlier today. <coughs> Excuse me. He was writing a letter to his parents in case he couldn't make it home. We're not sure if he's going to make it through the rest of the events. Through three here at the 2017 Swifty Combine, Coolio's lead in the pack as he dropped the hammer on the rest of the crew on day two followed by Gerd with a 28-52 score, and in the three spot is Big Scoot. Tune in next week for day three of the Combine. For everybody here at the Swifty Combine, this is Cuck Williams signing off.